Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. This time we're continuing on to clean up our property. We're in the backyard again, as promised from the last video, which was the patio makeover. We're going to be spending a lot of time out here just getting everything into shape and in anticipation for our first barbecue of the year. So we have a long ways to go to get ready to have guests. So I'm just giving you an overview of what the backyard is looking like. And this has, um, you know, been filmed over the course of two weeks. Um, so it's about a week before uh, we did our patio makeover and also this last week. And we're still not finished. We have so much to do. I don't know if you're like me, but once spring hits, you start seeing all of the projects that you need to do, everything that needs to be spruced up, if it needs to um, be weeded, refreshed um, with stain or paint. You just, your eye just gets drawn to all of this and you just want to make a list and check everything off. So that's what I have been doing. And I am so happy that I have this channel to be able to share it with you and offer you motivation to get out there and tackle projects either inside or outside of your house and just get everything you know looking nice and clean and ready for guests to be able to come and enjoy so we're gonna get started Now, if you remember from past, past videos, um, this is the entranceway to our backyard, and it has all of these hostas along the rock wall. And I did not pull the hostas last uh, fall, so they were dead here, and the new hostas already had started growing in, so I'm a little behind. So we're just gonna power through all of this and get it nice and clean. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Daphne. To anyone that's clicked on my video for the first time today, I want to welcome you to my channel and to all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. If you remember from last year, I added those Dusty Millers in. They were tiny little plugs and they grew so much uh, over the spring, summer, and fall season, but they're really leggy now. So what I'm doing is just cutting them back so that they can reflush out this year.
I wanted to let everyone know in between all of the outside uh, work that I've been doing, I have been working on completing my garage makeover. So part two will be coming soon. So leave me a comment down below what projects you plan on working on in your home and complete over the next month. So now this bed is nice and clean and we're going to be planting some annuals along the edge. But before we can do that, we have to continue cleaning and this planter, which is on the patio, um, originally it was like a dirty concrete color. And a couple of years ago, I stained it the same color as the other wooden boxes and benches in the landscape. And now since we're changing over to gray, I decided to restain it. And I really like the way that the gray stain layers on top of this brown. And I actually did about two coats to just get it fully um, saturated with the gray color. And it is the same color stain. Uh, it's called Slate and it's bare. Um, semi transparent stain the same that I use for the pergola and then the other wooden um, wooden uh, areas within our backyard which I'll show you shortly and I think that it turned out absolutely beautiful I was so happy that I was able to continue on with staining because this bench absolutely needed it. And I really like the finish that this stain um, was able to give to this bench.
so we spoke about this area and this grass needing to be divided it is humongous and i think that i'm going to split it into four separate plants as you can see i have this beautiful um, big leaf hydrangea here this is a daylily and i feel like i need to move the daylily over to the left and then also the grass over to the left so that the hydrangea has more space. That grass gave us a run for our money so I had to go get the pickaxe to be able to separate it because we could not get it out without that and look how humongous that grass was I wound up just keeping about an eighth of the size of the grass and I'm just going to replant it here in this location but a little more towards the left so that we give the um, hydrangea a little more space um, because it really gets uh, pretty big throughout the summer and I just didn't want it to be so crammed as it usually is so I think that this will be the perfect spot I'm also going to see how big everything grows in and I'm gonna put some annuals um, in between the dusty miller that are at the edge of the path you'll be able to see in the next video um, how I'm going to be adding different uh, annual colors within the landscape. And I just wanted to give you guys this view. It did rain this day, so we weren't able to do anything outside, but I was able to get this footage. I think that is so peaceful. So this is the next day and it's not raining so we're able to get out and do a little power washing so I'm super excited to be able to just freshen up these fence they're all covered with green algae and we are going to just spend some time getting all of that off and it's gonna look absolutely amazing once we get done
I just absolutely love watching the power washing and how all of the green just seems to melt right away. We're almost at the end of the video. I just wanted to come on again and thank everyone for watching. I do appreciate your support and I hope that everyone has a blessed day.